Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to work through a mechanics problem. Uh, this question appeared recently in the October-November 2015 CIE exams. Okay, CIE exams. The subject code 9709-41. Okay. Again, this is the mechanics 1 M1 paper 4. Subject code 9709 slash 41 of the CIE exams. Okay, it appeared October November 2015, and we're going to discuss this question, which is question number two. Okay, uh, you can read the question, uh, download the question paper from the CIE website, and um, read the question in detail. I have just uh, written it on the board so that uh, you can guide us along. Okay, so in case my handwriting is not so clear, uh, you can look up the actual question paper. Okay, a particle of mass uh, 0 0.5 kg uh, starts from rest. So I have uh, drawn a little picture here, starts from rest, so u equals to 0, and slides down a line of greater slope, you can look at my picture here, as we go along, starts from rest, slides down a line of greater slope of a smooth plane. Okay, so that's good. And the plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. So I've indicated 30 degrees here. Again, this uh, particle is going to slide down this slope, uh, inclined at 30 degrees, it starts uh, from rest. Good. You asked to find the time taken for the particle to reach a speed of 2.5 meter per second. What are we asked to do? We are asked to find the time okay, taken for the particle to reach a speed of 2.5 meter per second. So let's keep an eye on this picture here. Okay. Uh, let me redraw that. Okay. So I have my particle here. And I have, uh, let me just indicate the weight, it's 0.5 kg, so my weight will be 0.5 g newton, okay? And my downward component here of my weight will be 0.5 g, let me indicate 30 degrees here, okay? This is 30 degrees, so this will be 0.5 g sine 30. So this is the weight component. Okay, this is the weight component acting parallel to the plane. Good. Uh, initial speed, zero. So first off, let's go ahead and find the acceleration down the slope. Uh, the only forces acting on this particle, or rather the only force, is this weight component parallel to the plane. So using F equals to MA, Again, the only force acting on this particle is a weight component, which is parallel to the plane as I've indicated here. Let's use F equals to MA and work out the acceleration. So F, the resultant force will be, we like to learn it as mg sine theta, so it's 0.5g sine 30 equals to, my mass is 0.5 kg and I have MA. Okay? So we're using F equals to MA. So, this is gone, therefore my A will be G sine 30, which will be 10 times a half, you will get 5 meter per second squared. So let me write that nicely, okay? 5 meter per second squared, that's my acceleration. Now, I know my U, which is uh, 0, I know my A, which is 5, and I know my speed my final speed will be 2.5, so I can use the definition of the acceleration, A equals to V minus U over T, therefore, I'm trying to find T. Remember, we're trying to find the time, so V minus U over A, so I'll have 2.5 minus 0 over 5, and I have a half second, or 0 0.5 seconds, okay? Uh, use the definition of the acceleration, okay? 
and uh, you can work out the value of time, just plug in the numbers. Uh, the only thing we had to find here is our acceleration. We have that, so it's 2.5 divided by 5. You can write your answer down as half second or 0 0.5 seconds. And we're done.